Alright guys. Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome to another pickup video. Today is the 22nd of April 2013. And uh, basically I won't be uploading this until tomorrow night. So this is going to be the 23rd of April 2013. Uh, will be in the title basically because that's the day I'm going to upload it. So um, yeah, I've actually got a pretty decent amount of uh, things to show you. I mean, I usually make a pickup video every like three or four like games I pick up. But I've not actually done a pickup video in a while, so it's kind of been building. I think I've got like eight games on here. Hold on. I've actually got seven games, so it's a pretty decent amount. Um, so yeah, I'll show you them. And uh, I've got two PS3 games here, first of all. And one of them is a sports title. I've got these out of uh, Granger games. And first one is a sports title, like I say, and I, I love the 2009 game. Uh, I really bloody love the 2009 game, but I just felt like, you know, it was time for, you know, an updated version. And, um, yeah, I remember playing the demo of this when it first came out, and I really bloody loved it. I thought the graphics were great, the gameplay was really, really fun. And, uh, yeah, just decided to get it finally, and it is NHL 12 for the PS3. As you see, that was £8 pre-owned. Well, I don't know you think maybe last, you know, last year's sports title, maybe a bit too expensive, maybe. Uh, but to be honest, it's not really, considering the amount of time I'm going to get out of this game, and basically the fact that I've looked on eBay, the cheapest I've seen this game as a buy it now is like £13. Uh, I've not actually looked at uh, like auctions of the game, because there's not actually too many like games, like too many NHL 12s listed on eBay. Um, I think it's more, obviously the sport's more like a, you know, it's more of an American-Canadian thing. So I don't think they sell too many like, games here in Europe of uh, the NHL series. So they always seem to maintain a you know, pretty decent price. So um, yeah, I just, I've been playing a lot of it guys. And I'm telling you something, I'll bloody love this game. I think it's really, really fun, really, really enjoyable. And um, pretty damn addictive, I must say. Pretty damn addictive. Uh, I actually tried to play FIFA the other night. I uh, put it on and I played one match of FIFA. And I just got bored of it after one match. It really was. I just found it really bloody boring. Um, I just, I'm just really into this at the moment. I just think it's, you know, it's a lot faster paced, and to be quite honest, I just think it's more body enjoyable. Obviously, in real life, I prefer foot watching football to like NHL. I never watch NHL, but in my opinion, the games are a lot more fun than FIFA, uh, in my personal opinion. So um, yeah, guys, you can tell, I'm really bloody loving that game. It's fantastic, in my opinion. Really, really good stuff. So the next um, PS3 game that I've got, out of Dream Games as well. Another game I've been wanting for a while. Uh, but it's always been around about, hanging around about the seven, eight pound mark, and I finally saw it on a sale when I decided to grab it, and it is um, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. I never actually do this. I always forget to do this now. I never used to. Um, it's become a habit now. But uh, yeah, the NHL comes complete. I'm saying complete, but obviously EA Sports don't do manuals anymore. But the discs in, you know, really good condition, you know. So that's that. So uh, yeah, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. In my opinion, a really, really fun Need for Speed game. And like I say, I've been hanging around, hanging around the uh, 7 or £8 mark. And uh, I was actually thinking a while back about getting it for £8. And, you know, I'm glad I waited because, like I say, £5 is a pretty good deal for the game, I would say. Uh, I also saw Need for Speed The Run, which is the game after this, uh, for £6. I kind of wish I'd got that. Um, but yeah, I don't like spending too much money. I mean, I bought one game, so I didn't really want to buy another one. Uh, that's the way my mind works. I'm really tight on my money, I'm not really tight. So as you can see this game comes complete Oh whoa 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 right. Hold your horses. It did come complete. I've lost the manual guys. Yeah. There we go. It comes complete with a manual. I might have been in there, right? For some reason. So yeah, it comes complete with manual in really good condition. And I'd say it's a really good news for speed game. The only thing I feel that it's missing is the free room. I mean, my, in my personal opinion, I prefer Need for Speed games with free roam, like Carbon, Most Wanted, um, Undercover, which is, probably, which is still my personal favourite, Undercover. Um, but yeah, I think uh, games are better with free roam, whereas this game just choose what like events you want to um, race in, basically, from the menu. Uh, but like I say, guys, the gameplay and the graphics and that look really, really good, and I think it's a really fun game. But I think it'd be better with uh, free roam, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. So uh, yeah, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. So next games, next uh, three PS2 games we got, we're in a three for two sale at Green Games. So I'll show you the first two that I got before the one that I got for three. And this one for two pound is Tekken Four, 
which I really wanted to get for a while because I, I do love my Tekken games and I never got this, uh, had this back in the day, I played a demo on it uh, when I first got my PS2 but I never actually got it, I just jumped straight on to Tekken 5 so um, yeah I'm glad to have this game and um, you see it comes complete actually real good condition manual discs got ah, a few minor scratches but um, plays fine but um, I don't know if you can see that guys but the screenshots of the black at the back look really bloody good don't know if you can see them there but they look really bloody good uh, probably better than what the game looks to be honest when you play it on well you know nowadays but I think you know, for its time, I think it would be a really bloody good and really uh, nice looking fighting game. So, um, yeah, Tekken 4, guys, glad to have it um, in my collection, really. So, uh, yeah, that was £2. And right, another game that was £2 is... I actually heard quite a lot about this series, but I've never actually played one of the games. So I decided to give one of the games a try. And it is, hopefully I say this right, Tenchai Wrath of Heaven. Which, again, was £2. It's basically a game with uh, ninjas in it. See, comes complete. Nice condition manual. And discs, phew, it's got quite a lot of scratches there actually. Uh, hopefully, nothing that will affect uh, the actual game. But uh, yeah, I put it on for about half an hour and I thought it was a pretty damn good game. In the beginning of the game, you can choose uh, what character you want to be the male or the female ninja. The female uh, ninja is faster, but she's uh, less powerful. Whereas the male uh, ninja is a lot more powerful, but slower. So it's more or less the way you know you want to play the game. I picked the female because I personally like a fast character. Uh, I don't know why, but I like a fast character. But um, yeah, it got um, a 93% by play. So it's stylish, unique, and violently fun. Uh, Tenchai is essential. So uh, yeah, I think it could be a pretty damn good game. Uh, if you like your uh, stealth games, which I quite like my stealth games. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to giving that a, a play through at some point, hopefully. So yeah, that was £4, and the game I got for free was, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, Lake Masters X, a fishing game. Aye. I mean, why the hell not? Why wouldn't you get a fishing game? As you can see, that comes complete. That's not actually an official case, is it? It's black and stuff, it's not, I think it's an official case. It feels really plasticky, but uh, yeah, it's a game, so I'm happy with that. As you can see, the mine is in real good condition, and the disc is... Ah, a few minor scratches, but nothing major. So yeah, it's like Massive X. I uh, quite like my fishing games, to be honest. They're more like arcade-style kind of games. Uh, I think they're really, really good. So um, just something to you know put on now and again for a bit of fun. You can see the... It's a bit it's all ripped down the side there. I don't know if you can see that, but... It's, uh, yeah, it's all ripped. But anyway... I got the game, so if I'm not bored about it, I'll replace it. But to be honest, I'm not really that bored. It's not really a you know a prized possession, is it? But um, yeah, Wake Masters X on the PS2. Yeah, this is something that I forgot to mention in my last pickup video. Uh, so two pickup videos ago, I got Onimusha 3 after really, really enjoying Onimusha Warlords, and uh, I said that I'd ordered Onimusha 2, or you know I'd bought it on eBay. And uh, yeah, the game came on Amusha 2, well, the box came, and uh, Amusha 2 cover, on Amusha 2 manual. But it actually had the Onimusha Warlord disc in it, which Onimusha Warlord is the disc, is the game that I've got. Um, so I sent them a message, and they said they've not got Onimusha 2, so I just sent it back anyway. And um, so yeah, the, I don't know whether they've put Onimusha 2 in an Onimusha Warlord box and sent that to somebody else, I probably don't have a clue. I don't really understand how you can make that bombing mistake to be honest. Onimusha Warlords, Onimusha 2, it's not, you know, they're not similar names, are they? I don't know, but they made a mistake anyway, so I have to send it back. But I'm thinking about just starting Onimusha 3. Uh, I don't know if Onimusha 1, 2 and 3 are linked, you know, storyline-wise, but here is, this is supposed to be the best one. I just can't wait to play it, to be honest. And I'm really, really looking forward to playing it. So if I don't get Onimusha 2 soon, I'll probably just jump straight onto this game. So yeah, feel free to let me know if they're uh, storyline, um, you know, orientated. Um, but I don't know if I'm missing much storyline wise. So um, yeah, just thought I'd uh, you know mention that you know. Okay, so these last two PS2 games now we've got here are uh, games that I got today. I got them at a British Heart Foundation for one pound ninety nine each. Two PS2 games, and uh, one's actually a rebuy. Yeah, rebuying games, guys. Um, 
don't know why, I just couldn't resist picking it up for some reason. Um, and it is um, Final Fantasy uh, X2, or X2, which is actually, as you might know, the only Final Fantasy game I've completed. So, yeah, as you can see, that was a uh, 1.99. That comes complete. Oh God. Comes complete. The disc is... Yeah, it's got a few scratches, but it should be okay. So yeah, Final Fantasy X2, the only game, only Final Fantasy game I've completed, sadly. And, you know, it's not a great game, but there's actually some things I liked about it, uh, compared to, like, Final Fantasy X. I got rid of the Severe Grid, I got rid of the Cloister of Trails, which I hated both of them in Final Fantasy X. I think that was, like, the only things I hated about Final Fantasy X, and put me off the game, really. But, uh, just, the characters in this game are so immature. I don't know what they've done to Yuna and Riku. They were such likeable characters in Final Fantasy X. But in this game, I don't know, they're just so bloody immature and act like women children. And some of the mini games in this as well are just bloody stupid to be honest. I really don't like them, some of the mini games. But um, yeah, Final Fantasy X2, I don't know if it goes for like much on eBay, probably like two or three, maybe three or four pounds maybe if I'm lucky. So I might make a pound in it or something if I'm lucky, but nah, I don't know why, I just felt like rebuying it. And I obviously give my money to charity as well. But um, yeah. <laughs> and the other game I got for one ninety nine is um, following up the Final Fantasy uh, tradition. Final Fantasy X, uh, Final Fantasy XII, yeah. Which I think's 12, but I'm not sure. I'm not good with Roman numerals. Never been good with Roman numerals. Uh, Final Fantasy 12, yeah, it's Final Fantasy 12. Which I know absolutely nothing about this game. It's got um, the biggest game of the year, 10 out of 10. But, um, on my copy of this, it's got a sticker with a 9 out of 10 for this game, which I don't know where they got 9 out of 10 for this game. It's definitely not a 9 out of 10 game. So this could just be a bumming load of crap as well, in my opinion. I don't know. Uh, for all I know. But um, yeah, this come, come, uh, comes complete with manual. Pretty damn chunky manual. It's a bit ruffled, but uh, it's there. That's the same thing. And the disc. It's in pretty damn good condition, actually. Pretty damn good. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I can't complain about that at all. Um, so yeah, Final Fantasy XII. No, nothing about it. No, nothing about the gameplay-wise. No, nothing about the characters. So it's going to be a whole load of uh, new characters that I know nothing about. But um, yeah, it's all cool. And um, it's got one of those fireball guys, one of those fireball enemies, which look pretty damn awesome, pretty damn badass. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know, guys, if you've played Final Fantasy XII. Let me know what you think of the game. Is it good or not? And I'm uh, quite interested in all your opinions, really. So, um, yeah, I look forward to giving that a shot sometime. But I do want to play Final Fantasy VII and X first. Uh, especially Final Fantasy VII. I've been wanting, that for, wanting to play that for so long, just never really gone around to it. So, anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this. And, um, yeah, let, let me know your thoughts on any of these games. And I'll catch you on the next pickup video. See you guys. Thanks for watching.